Friends, in this video, we are discussing inverse Laplace transform of derivatives. Inverse Laplace transform of derivatives. So, the statement of inverse Laplace transformation is if L inverse of f of s is, is equal to f of t, then L inverse of f nth derivative of f of s nth derivative of f of s is is equal to minus 1 whole to the power of n into t power n into f of t okay so here f n dash of s also you can write as f n dash of s also you can write as d power n by t s power n of f of s anyway suppose if you have a f dash of s you can write as d by ds of f of s. Suppose if you have like a L inverse of f dash of s. What is the definition of L inverse of f dash of s by using inverse Laplace transform of derivative is minus 1 whole to the power of 1. It means minus 1 power 1 t power 1 into f of t. That is nothing but a minus t into f of t. Suppose L inverse of F double dash of S is, is equal to minus 1 whole square into T power 2 into F of T. Nothing but minus 1 whole square means what? 1 only. T square into F of T. Okay. Now in this video we are solving a different type of the problems. Uh, application of the Inverse Laplace transform of derivatives following problems we are doing. The first problem is solve L inverse of log of S plus 3. Second problem solve L inverse of log of 1 plus 4 by S square. And the third problem is solve L inverse of tan inverse of A by S plus cot inverse of b by s and the fourth problem is here we have a solve l inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square these problems uh, we are going to solve in this video before that you see what is L inverse of F dash of s you have minus t into f of t L inverse of F double dash of s is t square into f of t L inverse of Fn dash of s is minus 1 whole power n into t power n into f of t ok now you observe the problem 1 what you have L inverse of log of s plus 3 have you seen the any formula basic formula for L inverse for Lapla, uh, inverse Laplace for logarithmic function never log of this one never see tan inverse cot inverse like this you have only s by s square plus a square have you s by s square plus a square whole square in the basic basic formulas of inverse Laplace no so we, for these type of the problems we will use a inverse Laplace transform of derivatives okay how we will solve see the first problem the first problem here you have solve L inverse of log of s plus 3 l inverse of log of s plus 3 now so this is l inverse of f of s form is it or not l inverse of f of s only so l inverse of f of s means first write down f of s what is f of s you have f of s is, is equal to log of s plus 3 now if you apply the inverse laplace on both sides will you get the direct formula for log in l inverse of log no so what we have to do means we will do the differentiation on both sides then f dash of s differentiate with respect to s log derivative 1 by s plus 3 ok now log of s plus a derivative 1 by s plus a into inner derivative what I have 1 ok no need to write now f dash of s is equal to what you have 1 by s plus 3 so now if you apply the inverse Laplace will you get the Direct formula? Yes. Now apply the inverse Laplace on both sides. Then L inverse of F dash of S is equal to L inverse of 1 by S plus 3. Tell me what is L inverse of 1 by S plus 3? Yes. E power minus 3T. Okay. This is what value? F of T value only. Anyway. Now what is L inverse of F dash of S formula? 
L inverse of F dash of S is nothing but inverse Laplace transform of derivative of F of S. We have the formula L inverse of F dash of S is equal to minus 1 whole to the power of 1 into t power 1 into f of t that is is equal to minus t into f of t do you know f of t here what is l inverse of f dash of s we got f of t this is f of s like this is f of t therefore l inverse of 1 by l inverse of this is excuse me l inverse of f dash of s is you are getting like this is f of t na? so minus t into f of t type excuse me l inverse of f dash of s is equal to what, you what I have minus t into f of t therefore minus t into f of t is, is equal to what you have right side e power minus 3t so now I want only f of t so the f of t is e power minus 3 by minus t nothing but uh, f of t is equal to minus of e power minus 3 by t ok na? next problem l inverse of log of 1 plus 4 by s square so this is like l inverse of f of s form so tell me what is f of s f of s is, is equal to log of 1 plus 4 by s square see log of bracket here I am writing like log of this is LCM I can write as s square then I can get s square plus 4 so this is now log a by b form f of s is equal to log a by b I can write as log a yes minus log b Okay, this is S square you have and D1, this one also you can write as Can you split this one? No, log function inside of plus is there you cannot split Remember, product is there then you can split Now log A power uh, N, so N log A So that is 2 times of log S This is what value? F of S value Now can you apply the inverse Laplace both sides means? Of course, if you applied then left side L inverse of S What about the right side? Again logarithmic functions have you basic formulas of logarithmic inverse log uh, inverse Laplace transformation of logarithmic functions? No. So what I have to do? Differentiate on both sides with respect to what s. Then one time differentiation I am doing. Then I will have log of derivative will become one by bracket into bracket derivative. What is the bracket derivative I have? Two s minus two into log s derivative one by s. So finally. So f dash of s is, is equal to 2s by s square plus 4 minus 2 by s. Right. Now you see, can I apply the inverse Laplace both sides now? Left side I can apply. What about the right side? Of course, if we apply the right side, well, I have 2 times of s by s square plus 4. Okay. Can I apply the formula? Yes. So apply the L inverse on both sides. Then L inverse of f dash of s is, is equal to 2 times of L inverse of s by s square plus 4 minus 2 times of L inverse of 1 by s ok now L inverse of f dash of s is equal to 2 times of what is the formula you have L inverse of s by s square plus a square cos a t what is uh, a square here 4 so what is a here 2 so cos 2t minus 2 times half. L inverse of 1 base is nothing but what? L inverse of 1 base is 1. So 2 into 1 means 2. So what is the L inverse of f dash of s? We know the formula. L inverse of f dash of s is minus t into f of t. So that is equal to 2 cos 2t. 2 is a common if I take in minus 1. Then what is f of t I can write now? 2 times of cos of 2t minus 1 by minus t or else f of t is, is equal to 2 times of 1 minus cos 2t by 2. Ok na? Next problem we will see. L inverse of tan inverse of a by s plus cot inverse of b by s. So now it is in the form of L inverse of f of s or not? Yes. Tell me what is f of s? f of s is, is equal to tan inverse of a by s plus cot inverse of b by s.
right now if you apply the inverse laplace on both sides then have you any formula for inverse laplace of tan inverse don't have so go for the differentiation f dash of s is equal to now tan inverse is a by s derivative you know the formula tan inverse of uh, a x is a by x square plus tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square so here what have you got here a x plus a square okay next cot inverse of uh, a x is equal to minus a x by x square plus uh, a square okay now now here you see tan inverse of a by s is nothing but you can write like this 1 by general formula tan inverse x treat as tan inverse x tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square into inner derivative of this bracket so 1 by 1 plus a by s whole square into bracket derivative with respect to what s here a is a constant no? yes now 1 by s you have 1 by s derivative minus 1 by s square that's it Similarly, cot inverse of b by s. Cot whenever it is k, then minus you will get na? minus 1 by 1 plus x square. x is here, b by s whole square into bracket derivative here. b is a constant, 1 by s derivative minus 1 by s square. Now, after simplifying, you will get this one. Like here you see s square is there. Anyway, I will write one more step for you a by s square minus a by s square and lcm is here s square s square plus a square by s square for the denominator here minus into minus you have like a plus b by s square divided by lcm if i have done then s square plus b square by s square now you see this denominator s square and uh, here the denominator s square s square getting cancelled then I will have minus a by s square plus a square plus b by s square s square getting cancelled then you will have s square plus b square. This is what value f dash of s value. Now can I apply the inverse Laplace on both sides? Yes. If you apply it, then you will get in the form of like you see minus if you take an outside a by s square plus a square yes b by s square plus b square yes it is in the formula only general formula so apply l inverse on both sides then l inverse of f of s is equal to minus l inverse of a by s square plus a square plus l inverse of b by s square plus b square direct formula okay can you guess what is the formula yes this will become sin a t that's it by a this a getting answered next this second one will become sin bt right next what is l inverse of f dash of s by the first shifting theorem uh, excuse me by inverse laplace transform of derivative we have l inverse of f dash of s is equal to minus 1 whole power 1 means minus 1 t power 1 means t into f of t okay this is the formula so minus t into f of t hence what is f of t you see f of t is minus you multiply then I will have sin a t minus sin b t this t will become in the denominator ok na? now f of t will become sin a t minus sin b t by t ok na? next problem l inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square this is in the form of l inverse of f of s so what is f of s now f of s is s by s square plus a square whole square generally if you are applied the l inverse for what uh, you can apply l inverse s by s square plus a square whole square or else only s by s square plus a square Yes, s by s square plus a square you have. But here you have s by s square plus a square whole square. So, like the previous problems, can we do the differentiation? If you do the differentiation, again it will become power 3. Again, so what you have to do means, in this case, we have to consider as f of, this is, you can consider directly like a, uh, using the inverse Laplace transform formula L inverse of f dash of s is equal to minus t into f of t but here in place of f of s you have s by s square plus a square whole square but I am considering capital F of s as 1 by s square plus a square ok if I consider capital F of s as 1 by s square plus a square what is the derivative of this 
Yeah, 1 by x derivative minus 1 by x square into inner derivative is 2s. So you will get this one. So this derivative will become like this one. If you taken this, if you differentiate it, then you cannot get the solution like the previous problem. So I am considering capital F of s as this one, right? Now, in this case, do the f dash of s. What is f dash of s? Here you have 1 by bracket, 1 by x derivative, minus 1, this is 1 by bracket only. So, 1 by bracket derivative, minus 1 by bracket square, that is 1 by s square plus a square whole square into bracket derivative. What is the inner derivative here you have? 2s plus 0. So, capital F dash of s is equal to minus 2s by s square plus a square whole square. But what do you want only? s by s square plus a square whole square. So this is you can write as minus 2 times of s by s square plus a square whole square. Okay. Now this is what value? f dash of s value. Now apply the inverse Laplace on both sides. Then L inverse of f dash of s is equal to minus 2 into L inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square. You see what is L inverse of f dash of s by using the inverse Laplace transform of derivative we have minus t into f of t. This is equal to minus 2 into L inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square. So this is minus t into f of t. You want only L inverse of s by s square plus a square whole square only. Now. You check it here s by s square plus a square whole square. So in this case, this is, I want f of t. What is f of t? How I can get f of t? Check the f of s. What is f of s here? f of s is nothing but 1 by s square plus a square. So in this case, what will become f of t as? f of t will become, yes, sin a t by a. This is is equal to, this is is equal to minus 2 times of L inverse of this. Therefore, you see now, here minus minus getting cancelled. Then I want only L inverse of S by S square plus A square whole square. This is is equal to sin A T. Okay, sin A T here you have minus T. Na? So minus T by here you have A. This minus 2 will become downside means in the denominator therefore L inverse of S by S square plus A square whole square is equal to getting cancelled after that you will have T by 2A sin A T this problem is compared with the previous problem entirely different okay once again I will revise this one you see to find a L inverse of S by S square plus A square whole square whole square is there. Then in this case you have to consider f of s as this one. So if you are applied inverse Laplace we cannot get. Now in this case what we are doing is consider f of s as 1 by s square plus 1 by s square plus a square. Do the differentiation then you will have minus 2s by s square plus a square. Now I got this term. Now apply the inverse Laplace transform then minus t into f of t you have minus 2. Take this set then you will get the answer. Thank you for watching this video.